Good evening and welcome to the public hearing open house for the proposed improvements to Duren Avenue between I-516 and Harry Truman Parkway in Savannah, Chatham County, Georgia. This project is known locally as Project Duren. Information about the project, including a project description, a purpose and need statement, a summary of environmental study, a right-of-way acquisition statement, and a comment card is provided in the public hearing open house handout, which was given to each person as they entered the room or can be downloaded at the Georgia DOT public involvement website. This presentation will discuss the proposed project, the environmental review process, anticipated environmental impacts discussed in the draft EIS, and outline the next steps for advancing Project Durin. A question and answer session will follow. The proposed action consists of a new location roadway connecting West Durin Avenue with Hampstead Avenue, known as the Boulevard, and operational improvements along West Durin and East Durin Avenues, and includes the following three programmed projects. PI number 008358, I-516 at Durin Avenue, referred to as the Boulevard, PI-001236, State Route 21 from Mildred Street to Abercorn Street, referred to as West Durin Avenue Improvements, and PI-008359, East Durin from Abercorn Street to Harry Truman Parkway, referred to as East Durin Avenue Improvements. Each of the three projects has separate funding sources and Georgia DOT project identification numbers, but they are being evaluated together for the purposes of the environmental study. The City of Savannah, in partnership with the Georgia DOT and the Federal Highway Administration, has prepared a draft environmental impact statement, or EIS, to identify environmental resources and to evaluate and disclose the impacts to these resources from alternatives considered to address the specific transportation needs for Duran Avenue between Interstate 516 and Harry Truman Parkway. On July 18, 2017, FHWA published in the Federal Register a notice of intent to prepare an environmental impact statement for Project Duran. Three agencies are participating as cooperating agencies for the draft EIS, including the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Savannah District, the Hunter Army Airfield, and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA. The draft EIS was prepared in compliance with the 1969 National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. Projects that receive federal funding must consider potential effects of their proposed actions on the social, cultural and natural environment during the project planning and evaluate alternatives to their actions. The draft EIS presents the anticipated beneficial and adverse environmental effects of reasonable alternatives, including the no-build alternative, and evaluates the effectiveness of each alternative to meet the stated need and purpose for the proposed project. The draft EIS identifies a preferred alternative and defines proposed mitigation for environmental effects determined to be adverse. Finally, the draft EIS discloses the agency coordination and public participation that facilitated the development of Project Durin. The Project Alternatives Display Board, the back of the room, provides an overview of the eight alternatives considered in the draft EIS. Some alternatives were eliminated from further consideration because they were determined unreasonable, were strongly opposed by the public, had more severe environmental impacts than other alternatives, or otherwise did not meet the project's need and purpose. The locally preferred alternative, or the LPA, and the no-build alternative were carried forward for full evaluation in the draft EIS. The draft EIS analyzes both alternatives in detail, including direct, indirect, and cumulative environmental effects. The draft EIS addresses the project-related effects to the natural, cultural, physical, and social environments, such as streams, wetlands, endangered species, historic structures, archeological sites, 
air quality, noise, home and business displacements, and community facilities and infrastructure. The draft EIS identifies both beneficial and adverse effects of the proposal and discloses this information to the public before a final decision is made. The information packet provided contains a comprehensive summary of the environmental study conducted for Project Durin. The draft EIS also considers proposed mitigation measures that may be implemented as part of Project Durin. In preparing the draft EIS, the project team worked closely with the US EPA and the Georgia State Historic Preservation Officer, or the SHPO, to minimize harm to and develop mitigation for adverse impacts to environmental justice populations and historic resources. A project mitigation plan, including a memorandum of agreement in compliance with Section 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act has been developed and is part of this draft EIS. The project mitigation plan also includes a relocation assistance program, or RAP. The RAP's goals are to offer assistance to residents and businesses that would be displaced or be required to relocate so that the project can be implemented. Residential property owners and renters and businesses and their employees would be eligible to participate in this program. The RAP will offer expertise and assistance with relocating that goes beyond traditional mechanisms available under the Uniform Relocation Assistance Act and is intended to improve the relocation outcomes for low-income and minority residents and businesses. Additional mitigation measures or modifications to the project mitigation plan described in the draft EIS may be required as the project is finalized. NEPA requires a public review of the draft EIS. We are in this phase now, and the draft EIS has been published and made available for public and agency review and comment. Also, the public hearing is being held to provide an opportunity to review and discuss the proposed project with the project sponsors and their representatives. Comments on the draft EIS are being accepted during this 45-day period which began on October 9th, 2020, with a notice of availability published in the Federal Register. Also, the draft EIS was posted on the Georgia DOT Public Involvement website, and copies were sent to 30 agencies and stakeholders for their review and comment. The public can review materials and provide comment at this public hearing or by visiting the Georgia DOT website. The public review period will conclude on November 23, 2020. If you intend to make a comment, please provide your comment by using any of the methods outlined in your handout by this deadline. If you need assistance to make a comment, please speak with one of the city or Georgia DOT representatives here today. Once the public review period is complete, the project team will consider the input received and will formally address all comments made as part of the public record. A final EIS will be prepared and the FHWA will be decided, will decide whether to approve, approve with modification, or disapprove Project Durin. The city will document future decisions about Project Durin in the final EIS and record of decision or ROD. This document will be made available for a 30-day public review period in the same manner as the draft EIS, except another public hearing will not be held. The final EIS and ROD are expected to be available in the latter half of 2021.